Brett, what do you do when you've got the perfect cook and Doll Strong happens to send you the perfect knife slash spatula oh, that's, to knock it out? What do we do, Adam? We open it and we review it. I'm jealous, I do have to run, so I'm not gonna be able to stick around for the cook, but I definitely want to be here as we open this beast. You wanna see us open this Gladiator Series eight inch spatula knife and make this amazing steak chimichanga. Stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there, that's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. We're gonna cut right to it now, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for Brett. Yes. Dude's gotta take off, but he definitely wanted to Responsibilities. see. Responsibilities. He wanted to see how beautiful this knife is. So we're gonna get right into it. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead. We've got some steaks marinating. Yes, we and do. And then, so as soon as we open the knife, I'll explain what we're doing today with this uh, with this steak chimichanga. Now, Brett, you did chimichangas not too long ago. Yes, we did chicken chimichangas. And Sherry now we're doing steak chimichangas, which I'm excited for. Yes. Now, over here at Garibaldi, a local restaurant, the steak chimichanga is one of mine and my wife's absolute favorite meals. We're trying to replicate it. That's why we've got it marinating. But let's talk about this knife. All right, now one thing, Dow Strong does not cut quarter, corners, even when it comes to their packaging. So got the little magnetic door oh, there. Yeah, door. <laughs> open it, look you at got this your thing. It looks like, like a hammerhead shark it or something. It does, Man, doesn't I love it? it. We yes. got your, you always got your information booklet yep. here. We absolutely, and I love thumbing through that and getting a lot of good information. Yep. Also, quick care maintenance cards. Uh, you've got your VIP membership card. We're already members of the VIP. And of course our pen. And of course you've got your Doll Strong series pen. And these are all, this is uh, the Gladiator series. So they always do a special pen based on the series itself. And so this Brett, knife. pull that Look knife that. out. Here it is in its sheath. And this is, uh, this is a nice plastic, it is a hard plastic sheath. And what we're looking at, this is high carbon steel, the 56 plus Rockwell hardness, man. And this thing is sh sharpened 16 to 18 degrees. And this is hand sh sharpened per side. Show that and look at that head. That is the spatula right there. <laughs> Laser edge Dahl Strong logo, logo, of course. And of course, we've got unique, versatile design. This is designed for your professional use, Brett. Stain resistant, cleans easily, ultra durable, geo handle, and your triple rivet handle for durability. Man, that thing, there is that handle. That thing is beautiful. And I can't wait to get to use it. Brett, I'm really sorry for you. <laughs> that you don't get to be here for <laughs> and it. The cool thing is you get to chop and scoop. And in this case, you can chop, cut, and scoop, where you can slice even the chicken, the chimichanga as it's hot in the oil, you can yeah. actually scoop it up with this and That's take it out. That's what I'm thinking though, because we're gonna cook the steak whole. Yep. I'm gonna cook the steak whole, and then when it's ready, I can scoop it off, pull it, let it rest for a minute, cut it up, get it back in the chimichanga. So this is like the one use, the, the multi-tool that is gonna be just good for this. The, the Swiss Army knife. Right, if you will, <laughs> of knives. That's right. Swiss Army knives of cooking knives. You know we love our Doll Strong products. A link to this and all the Doll Strong products will be in the video description down below, well, the video. So you got to check out all things Doll Strong and find out why we absolutely love Doll Strong. But this one's mine, so it's going home with uh, me. Ah, no, we'll leave it here. All right, so clearly uh, I needed to let some time pass. The sun is, I guess it's not setting. We still got another 20, 30 minutes of daylight here. But uh, as Brett left, it was the realization that we needed to let the steaks marinate for a little bit longer. So it's been about four hours. The steaks are marinated and I am ready to cook. So Brett would have absolutely had to miss this one. But I can't wait to show you this cook, show you the knife spatula, Combo from Doll Strong. Griff, come around the other side so we can start filming this. We've got our marinated steak, but let me go ahead and talk about the other ingredients that are going into this one as well. Now, we already prepped the marinade. I'll have the ingredients for the marinade in the video description. It's got a little bit of soy sauce. It's got some lemon juice, some olive oil, some garlic, as you can see here, some cilantro, salt and pepper is pretty much all we got going in that one. I know a lot of times for these chimichanga recipes, they call for cumin. I'm not a big fan. I'll use a little bit sometimes, but for this one, I didn't. This is a very savory steak dish. Reminds me of our favorite place, Garibaldi, here locally. Uh, so this has been marinating for four hours now. So then on, on the side, everything else is kind of on the side, right? We've got our tortillas, which we're gonna be using for the chimichangas. Then we've got our sour cream, which, oh, I didn't picture the sour cream. We've got guacamole, we've got pico de gallo, Mexican rice that's on the griddle. We've got queso blanco on the griddle, as well as these refried beans, all side dishes, the way they serve it up at Garibaldi. That is what's going on in this one now. Uh, doing a lot of research with chimichangas, you can put some of the ingredients inside because people say it's basically a deep fried burrito. But another way you can do this, like I said, the way that my local place here does at Garibaldi is they um, actually just put the 
steak in, maybe have a sauce, but because this is marinated so highly, I'm only gonna put the steak inside when we wrap this, but you'll see how we do this and how it turns out. Let's get to the griddle since the griddle's nice and hot for this one. We're gonna do the steak first and then we'll build us some chimichangas. Now, I'm not gonna lay any oil down. I'm just gonna put these face down. Now, I've got, as you can see, the garlic and everything on there. I'm gonna put that down, let that cook in. This smells so good. Griff, do you smell it? Nope. Because <laughs> it's just starting now, right? I'm gonna try to get just a little sear on this. This won't take long. Now, this is eye of round steak, so it doesn't have a ton of fat content throughout. It's got that fat on the side, but nothing inside. And that's okay, because that's why we did the marinade to help break this down. So when we cook it and then eat it, it should actually give us some good flavor and it should be relatively soft, softer anyways. And guess what, there it is. We don't want this to go to waste because we can't use this for dip or anything, this marinade, because whew, it's been sitting with raw meat. Look at that. All right, so this will be my first time using my little spatula knife, but we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna check this here. Okay, gonna let it sit for just another minute. We're gonna get another a nice little sear. Now, I understand that the garlic is gonna interfere with some of the sear, and that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna watch for that, and then as soon as they're ready, I'll start flipping these. We'll give these about a minute. It's been another minute. We're gonna go ahead and get some flips on there. Look at that kind of curling up. Now, this is the round steak, so this is what we're gonna deal with because it is uh, so, it's this perfect round, so we're gonna get a little bit of flipping up. We got some char on the edges there, looking good, looking great. Now, this the best part is, this is almost cooked, ready to pull and to slice. Gonna give this a quick flip, a toss. Oh, by the way, this thing is awesome. This gets right under, no issues whatsoever. Makes it nice. One more. All right, we'll let this go for just another minute or so, and then we'll pull it. All right, so the steaks are done. Griff, come and take a look at these, how nice those look. So basically, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spatula these up, and we're gonna pull these, and we're gonna set these off to the side and just let them, look at those juices. In fact, I don't wanna flip them because I wanna leave those juices on there. We're gonna put them in here over here on my plate. I'm gonna clear my spot and then we're gonna see the multi-use of the knife. By the way, super smooth. What I appreciate is how good that works. It is so thin, it's gonna get right under anything that might be thinking about sticking. It's not gonna be sticking because it's done thinking about it. But look at those steaks. Okay, so I think that's really good. The smell is spectacular out here. I did put a slice in one to see if it would help level it out. Now, I, for these, I'm not really worried about medium rare, medium well, and all that. Look at that, just pull that right up. Look at how easy that is pulling off and cleaning that griddle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clean the griddle. We're gonna let the steaks rest for about five minutes um, while I get this before we cut them, and then we're gonna start putting them in these tortillas, and we're gonna start our fry. So I'm gonna get turn the griddle up to high so I can get my oil nice and ready. All right, now like I say, that's the longest five minutes anybody's ever gonna have to wait when you're waiting for the good steaks or the good foods to go ahead and rest. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're going to use the knife action on this. I've gotta tell you, first of all, I am so impressed with this. I thought, oh, how's that gonna work as a spatula? It felt so natural to use. I love that it actually holds like a knife, but very comfortable. And because it's got a lot of weight to it, I mean, it's got a full tang right here. So you're going all the way from blade to end. The way the weight is distributed on this made it very nice as a spatula. But let's go ahead and put it to its real use as a knife. So I'm gonna take my steaks here. Man, I don't wanna lose that juice, right? But this thing, I'm just gonna, Oh my stars. Now for what it's worth, I know that most of this is gonna be cooked all the way through. I'm not worried about medium rare, rare, all that, whatever. I do have some pink, which is good, but base, this is very, very soft steak, which I'm glad. And also this knife is making easy, easy work of this. Now, I'm gonna slice this up, but one thing I wanna do too, is aside from getting these slices, I'm gonna cut it down because we're gonna put these in the chimichangas and I wanna be able to kind of put it in chunks. So we'll get this off to the side and then we'll get this going. So Griff, let's just go ahead and speed this up. Let's go ahead and watch this process and we'll be good to go. Look at how easy 
that knife just cuts right through. Like I don't have to seesaw. This is just going right through like a hot knife through butter right there. Look at that. Get the next one going. My wife was saying thinner pieces, so we're going thinner pieces. But look how easy that knife makes work of this. Like I said, nothing ex we'd expect nothing different from Doll Strong. All right, so now that the steak is cut and prepared, listen, I've got it tossed in this juice. Some of it's a little overcooked, but one thing I've learned when we're cooking a lot of steak like this and it's going in a burrito, we're gonna get a lot of other, a burrito, case, a chimichanga, a lot of the other flavorings are gonna help enhance it. It doesn't taste dry or overcooked. We have so much juice. I've went ahead and in this plate that's, that's full of the juice, I've tossed the steak a little bit, so now we've got the steak. We're gonna start preparing it and getting it into these chimichangas. So come in here, come down here, Griff. Look at this under here. Look at the juice in here. Look at all this juice that we're still dealing with. So that is where I'm pulling from. And we're gonna build these and then the rest of the steak will still sit in that juice. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull a whole heaping pot, pot right here. We're gonna get it right here in the middle. I said heaping, right? Is that heaping? Is that a little bit more heaping? Get some from the middle with the juice, right? So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my, you know what? We can try it, we, I can pull some steak out if I need. I want this loaded. Now Jen came and said, hey, you want these a little bit thinner. So I cut some of these thinner. Some of these are a little bit thicker. So we'll watch that and see if that becomes an issue. But look how full this chimichangi is gonna be. Like I said, I'm not putting anything more into this. So we're gonna fold this over and we're gonna load that up and over. Tuck, oops, got that one falling out. Gonna tuck this all the way all the way and roll, keeping this folded in tight. Oops, I broke out just a little bit. So I'm gonna set this off to the side on my other plate and we're gonna be good to go. So again, getting some of this in here, get that nice, tender, juicy meat here. I'll do this one a little smaller. I made that one a little bit bigger. So yes, juicy. Look at, here we go, buddy. Maybe go a little few more, go in up and over and tuck and roll. There we go, chimichanga number two. So we're gonna go tuck, up and over, roll. That can use more, who am I kidding? Whom I kidding, right? Up and over, tuck it in, roll nice and tight. And Griff, think we're ready for the griddle, my guy. Get our nice, this is our biggest one. This one broke out just a little, but the thing is, is it doesn't matter. We don't have anything in there but the steak. So it's not like anything's gonna fall out of it except maybe the steak. But let's go ahead and let's go get the oil on the griddle and get these tossed down. What do you say? Okay. All right, as the battery and card are starting to wear out, I'm gonna go ahead and get a lot of oil here. Now I see it kind of sinking down to here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my scraper to keep the oil here. Basically what I want to do is I'm going to pull the oil through. So you see how I do that. Let me get my first big quesadilla or chimichanga here. We're going to go ahead and set it there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to throw my oil here. Now I could do all at the same time, but because my oil is drifting, which by the way, is because I shifted the griddle and I, this does adjust, but I thought I adjusted it well enough and I didn't quite get it, but that's okay. So we'll get it cooking on the one side and then we'll flip it and get it cooking on the other side. All right, so this has not been on maybe a minute, but we're gonna go ahead and look at that. <laughs> were you expecting that, Griffin? Okay, so we're gonna get this side. Now, with these, because they are so robust, I'm gonna have to get all the way around. Obviously, deep frying is the best way to do these, but that's okay. We're gonna do these like this, and we'll get one at a time. The griddle is really hot which is gonna make sure this oil cooks them really quickly. Look at that, already set up, ready to go. So I'm gonna hold this side, we'll hold the other side, and we'll hold the ends and we'll be good to go. It's a deep fried chimichanga. All right, now we're gonna get our ends here. So by the way, a deep fry works, but this just shows that you can do chimichangas in a shallow fry on your griddle and it will work just fine. Get the last side cooked. Look at that. 
Oh, we're losing some of that juice. Look, some of the steak popping out to say hello right there. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. Okay, one thing I wanted to show, I did get a little overzealous and it broke open. I should have pulled it sooner. Just to show that it doesn't always work out perfectly, but that's okay. This is my other full one right here. And I'm, so I'm also a little bit concerned about this. I think this one's gonna be perfect, but let's go ahead and toss this one on and see how this one holds up too. We're gonna get a little more oil right here. Now the griddle is already super hot with all this other oil right here because it's already smoking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on layaway because I lay it away for myself, right? We're gonna go like this. Here's what's cool, Griffin. Griffin was surprised with how dark it got so quick, right? It was like immediately I turned it over. And so here, dude, this might already be ready to turn. Should we see? Look at that, dude, already cooked. All, Cause all we're doing is browning the tortilla at this point. Yep, like I said, this was my concern with it falling out. So I'm gonna get some oil up in here. So this will harden and kind of hold. Oh, what's, ah, I lost it. She's lost. <laughs> I lost her to the fire, ladies and gentlemen. That was my concern was overstuffing. So I thought, well, I should be good, right? Well, wrong. So these ones are overstuffed for sure. Oh, the cream. So funny though that I called it, I figured, this one might be a little overstuffed, right? So let's let it go. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this off to the side, let it still stay hot so it can kind of hold together and let's get one more going here. In fact, the best part is if I need to, I can pull that. I have a lot of extra tortillas. So we're gonna go ahead and get my smaller one that I feel is set up really well. Let's get this one going. I believe in that one. You believe in this one, right? All right, so here's the deal. You see the process, what this is doing. As soon as this is done, we're gonna come to the end and we'll go ahead and taste this. But here we go. We'll see, well, let's see how this one does, should we? Do you think it's done enough here? Uh, there we go, look at that. Look at that, nothing's moving, nothing's gonna be shifting around on this one. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. That first one that broke open, that tortilla is all over the place. That's too full, I think I'm gonna rebuild that one. We're gonna shape this, we're gonna continue to cook this and get this one up. Oh, a little space there. Didn't quite get that one, so I'll make sure I get that. Make sure that doesn't bust open. Make sure that holds together there. All right, we'll get this, and then we're gonna wrap this up, and we'll shoot some B-roll, and then we'll come back and eat it. All right, we are just about out of battery, just about out of car SD card for the shot, but there it is in all its glory. Now, she's, she came out to help finish the last few. We've got more kids all of a sudden like, wait a minute, that looks really good. We want some, some uh, steak chimichangas. So Jen is coming out to help finish with that for the kiddos. But man, like I say, it can look amazing. Griff, does it look amazing? Yes. The dude said yes, he's been snacking on the steak, which is great, he's not a big steak fan, so that makes me happy. Like I say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all for naught. You know what, I'm like, I'm over here by myself, I got Jen in the background, Griff, come here. All right, buddy, you ready? Yeah. Cheers, I'll oh, eat to that. My brother. My brother. Mmm. Mmm, mm, got that steak coming through? Mmm, damn. Garibaldi's might have a run for their money. Mm. So good. You like it? Do you want to put some guacamole and sour cream or are you good like that? I'm good. He wants it pure. I'm gonna put a little bit of everything, come back, take one more bite, and then we'll wrap it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try this one here. I loaded it with, I've got the pico, I've got the guac, I've got the sour cream, I've got the, the beans, and I even got a little bit of that Mexican rice on there. I'm gonna take that bite. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, chimichangas from home are happening now, Jen. Mm. This is amazing. Angela, so Jen can finish over there. I asked her if she wanted to take a bite. She's finishing up hers. She doesn't like being on the camera. I totally respect that and honor that. So we, we changed the angle. This is amazing. You have to make chimichangas from home. I know there's deep fries. There's other ways to do things. Sometimes you just like to show simple things like if you don't have all the other devices, all the other things that you can use for outdoor cooking, your griddle kind of is a one-stop shop. You can do a shallow fry. Look at that, sh that fry on there. That is perfect. It's amazing. I'm really happy I came and did this. In fact, I don't know if you hear my elevated excitement because of how well this turned out I'm super excited for that well you know I'm gonna finish this in a minute let me set that down we love that we get to come and do stuff like this I love that I get a got to come and share this with you I know the lighting is getting uh, wonky with the the night coming and everything we got the cicadas now humming in the background so just time for me to wrap it up if you're still here with me whether you can hear them or not because they're so loud here make sure and put in your comments cicadas because you know what it's we can hear them in the background it's something simple but it just lets me know that you're still here with me we love you for sticking it 
out with us. If this gave you an idea of something else that you can cook on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. It's one way in which you can support us and what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook and Smash. Both are available on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. I love that I get to come and do this, just hang out with my family, still cook it in the background. I know Jen doesn't like to be on camera, but man, I love when she's out here cooking with me. It makes it so much fun. It's all about having fun cooking with the family and we'd love to share that passion with you. Griffin, aside from coming and knocking out bangers like this one, the chimichanga on the griddle, why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin. No matter what, and with that we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And, and griddle, griddle on. on. High five, good job buddy.